Welcome to the picturesque seaside town of Bude, nestled along the stunning coastline of North Cornwall. Known for its golden sandy beaches, rugged cliffs, and vibrant local charm, Bude is a fascinating destination that seamlessly blends natural beauty with rich history. Join us as we explore outdoor attractions, historic buildings, and, of course, take a leisurely stroll down Bude's High Street, home to a variety of local shops. Summerlee's Long Stay Car Park is the perfect choice for exploring Bude's attractions. It is just a stone's throw from the town's golden sandy beach and close to the main attractions. In the car park, there is a public toilet and a lifeboat station, which also has a cafe. The meandering course of the River Strat enhances the town's scenic beauty as it gracefully flows through and seamlessly joins the Bude Canal, before disappearing in the vast waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Bude has a rich history that spans centuries. The town's roots can be traced back to medieval times when it was primarily a small fishing village. Fishing provided a livelihood for the local population and the town developed around the natural harbour. Over the years, Bude evolved, becoming a hub for maritime activities and trade. During the 19th century, Bude underwent significant changes with the development of the Bude Canal. Constructed in the early 1820s, the canal connected Bude to the inland market town of Launceston, facilitating the transportation of sea sand. The canal played a crucial role in shaping Bude's growth and economic prosperity during this period. In the Victorian era, Bude transformed into a popular seaside resort. The opening of the railway in 1898 further facilitated tourism, attracting visitors seeking the therapeutic benefits of the sea, air and coastal landscape. Bude's coastline, marked by dramatic cliffs and rugged beauty, has also been witness to numerous shipwrecks over the years. The perilous reefs along the shore posed challenges to sailors, and the town's history is intertwined with tales of maritime disasters. Like many coastal towns, Bude played a role in World War II. The beaches were used for military training exercises, and the town itself experienced some air raids. Remnants of wartime structures can still be found in the area. After the war, Bude continued to evolve as a tourist destination. The town adapted to changing travel trends and retained its appeal with a mix of natural beauty and recreational opportunities. Today, Bude is known for its stunning coastline, sandy beaches, and outdoor activities. It has retained its charm as a coastal town while also embracing tourism and modern amenities. Summerlee's Beach is a popular and picturesque sandy beach in the town. It is one of the main beaches in Bude and is known for its wide expanse of golden sands, providing a stunning backdrop against the Atlantic Ocean. Bude is surrounded by carboniferous sandstone cliffs that bear the marks of extensive faulting and folding during the Variscan orogeny. These unique cliffs, composed of calcium carbonate-rich sandstone, served as a natural fertilizer source in the past. For this reason farmers used to collect sand from the beach for spreading on their fields. Bude's cliffs stand out in Cornwall, as the majority of the Cornish coastline is formed by Devonian slate, granite, and Precambrian metamorphic rocks. Referred to as the Bude Formation, these stratified cliffs can be observed along the southwest coast path, offering a glimpse into the geological history of the area. 
However, the jagged reefs at the base of these cliffs have witnessed numerous shipwrecks, including the Benkulan, a bark that tragically sank in 1862, leading to the loss of most of its crew. Key features of Summerlee's beach include the iconic Bued Sea Pool, a semi-natural tidal swimming pool and the breakwater, which offers sheltered conditions for both swimmers and surfers. The sea pool was built in the 1930s. This outdoor pool was created by enclosing a part of the beach with a sea wall, allowing it to fill with seawater during high tide while providing a sheltered area for swimming. It is especially popular for its stunning location and the opportunity it offers to swim in a natural environment without the hazards of open sea conditions. The pool is managed and maintained by the Bude Sea Pool Charity, which relies on community support and donations to keep this popular attraction accessible to locals and visitors alike.
Crooklets Beach is one of the popular sandy beaches in Bude. It is adjacent to Summerlees Beach and is known for its expansive sandy shores, providing a scenic setting for beachgoers and water enthusiasts. The beach is backed by a promenade and grassy areas, offering a pleasant space for picnics and leisure activities. Crooklets Beach is well loved by surfers due to its consistent waves, making it a great spot for both beginners and experienced surfers. The beach features rock pools that are exposed during low tide, providing an opportunity for exploring marine life. As the beach is easily accessible, with facilities such as car parking, toilets and cafes nearby, it makes for a popular destination for both locals and tourists seeking a relaxing day by the sea. Bude Sea Lock is one of only two working sea locks in Great Britain and was completely renovated in October 2000 using green oak. The original sea lock was reconstructed and enlarged after storm damage in 1835, so that today, ships of up to 300 tons can enter the canal basin. The lock serves as a scenic gateway, allowing ships to navigate the gentle flow of the canal. Presently, the sea lock of the Bude Canal remains operational and the canal itself is filled with water up to the base of the first inclined plane. However, it's worth noting that the sea lock is the sole functioning lock along this stretch, preventing navigation throughout the entire network. The upper section has, unfortunately, undergone ploughing and overgrowth, but various remnants of the canal's existence, such as bridges and wharf buildings, can still be observed. Today, the canal and wharf area offer a picturesque setting, which is a great place for a leisurely walk, boat watching, or feeding the ducks. Thank <laughs> you. 
The first breakwater was built in 1819 to protect the Bude Canal, but was destroyed by a storm in 1838. The present structure dates from 1839 to 43. It plays a crucial role in making the waters near Summerley's Beach safer for both locals and tourists. The breakwater at Bude is often a popular spot for visitors, providing an opportunity to enjoy the scenic coastal views and watch the waves breaking against the structure. Chapel Rock is a prominent geological feature located on Summerley's Beach. This substantial rock formation sits near the shoreline and holds historical significance. The name for Chapel Rock is derived from the remnants of a small chapel that once stood atop the rock, believed to have been dedicated to St. Michael and the Holy Trinity around 1400, and housed a light that was used to guide vessels safely into the harbour. The chapel itself has long disappeared, likely due to coastal erosion and the passage of time. However, Chapel Rock remains a notable landmark and adds character to the picturesque coastal scenery of Bude. It is often used as a viewpoint today. Visitors can climb onto Chapel Rock and enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding coastline and the Atlantic Ocean. It provides a unique vantage point for taking in the scenic beauty of the area, making it a popular spot for both locals and tourists. Additionally, the rock itself is a subject of interest and photography, contributing to the overall appeal of Summerley's Beach and the Bude coastline. Barrel Rock stretches out to sea and is so called after its beacon, a barrel supported on a metal pole. This is used to guide shipping around this dangerous rock. On the seaward side of Chapel Rock lies Tommy's Pit, Bude's first swimming pool that opened in 1859. During the Victorian era, it was customary to have separate bathing areas for men and women, and Bude followed this practice. Initially exclusive to men, a swim in Tommy's Pit cost two pennies, and individuals caught swimming naked were fined a penny. The designated area for women was Mayor Ladies Bathing Beach, now recognized as Crooklets Beach.
Compass Point is an octagonal lookout tower situated on the headland overlooking Summerlees Beach. The tower was constructed in 1835 as a place from which coast guards could observe ships on the adjacent Atlantic Ocean. It is currently under renovation. St. Michael and All Angels Church has a history that dates back to the mid-19th century. The church was built in 1835 to 1836 by George Whitewick, a well-known architect of the time. The design is in the Gothic Revival style, which was popular during the Victorian era. Like many historic buildings, St. Michael and All Angels Church has undergone various restorations and renovations over the years to preserve its architectural integrity. The church features stained glass windows, a spire, and other architectural elements typical of the Gothic Revival style. It serves as both a place of worship and a significant architectural landmark imbued. The church stands as a testament to the architectural and historical heritage of the town, reflecting the Victorian era's influence on ecclesiastical design.
Castle, originally built in 1830 by Sir Goldsworthy Gurney, a local inventor and engineer, was not constructed for defensive purposes but rather as a private residence. Gurney, known for his innovations in the field of steam power and as a pioneer in developing the Butte Light, intended the castle to serve as a family home. The architecture reflects the Regency style of the time, showcasing elegance and a nod to classical aesthetics. As the years progressed, Butte Castle underwent various transformations. In the late 19th century, it became a hotel, and by the mid-20th century, the castle faced the prospect of demolition. Fortunately, the efforts of local residents led to the rescue and restoration, and the castle's interior now houses the Butte Castle Heritage Center, featuring exhibitions that delve into the local history, geology, and cultural heritage of Butte and its surrounding areas. Butte Light 2000, a millennium tribute to Cornish inventor Sir Goldsworthy Gurney, was constructed in 2000. Fiber optics were used for night lighting in this 9 meter high monument. Gurney invented the Butte Light in 1830. This brilliant light was achieved by introducing oxygen into the center of a gas or oil flame. Nanny Moore's Bridge, a footbridge over the River Strat, was formerly known as Bude Bridge but was renamed in the early 1800s after a widow, Nanny Moore, who lived in one of the Leven cottages next to the bridge. Originally built for pack horses, carriages, and pedestrians, the end section is cantilevered, allowing it to be raised to let ships pass through.
The town centre of Butte is a vibrant hub featuring a mix of shops, restaurants, cafes, and other amenities. Here, visitors can explore a variety of stores, ranging from local boutiques and gift shops to larger retail stores, offering a diverse array of options such as clothing stores, bookshops, souvenir shops, and more. Though a bit quirky, the Butte Tunnel gained popularity on social media. It's a small pedestrian tunnel that has become a fun and unexpected attraction. The 70-meter walkway, located at the Butte Sainsbury Supermarket site, was mentioned in the national press after becoming the town's top-rated attraction on TripAdvisor. However, we didn't find it so interesting. The history of Bude reflects its connection to the sea, its adaptation to economic changes, and its transformation into a vibrant and picturesque destination. Visitors can explore this history through landmarks, museums, and the natural beauty that has attracted people to this coastal town for centuries. As we conclude our exploration of the charming town of Bude, we hope you've enjoyed the scenic beauty, rich history, and vibrant atmosphere it has to offer. From its sandy beaches and historic landmarks to the bustling town centre with diverse shops and eateries, Bude truly has something for everyone. If you found this journey delightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback is invaluable, and we look forward to hearing your opinions. Stay tuned for more adventures, and thank you for joining us on this exploration of Bude.